morning. I'm Faye Thompson. Today we have a special guest, my granddaughter Caroline, and she is going to uh, fix us a salmon. I don't cook that very often, so she's going to show us how she fixes it in California. Is that right? That's right. Uh -huh. So what we have here is a wild Alaska salmon. It's a coho salmon. There are many species. We got this one because it was on sale at Whole Foods. But we really want wild salmon because it's higher quality, the flavor is better, you get this beautiful orange color, and it's a little gentler on the environment as well. And we're gonna only cook a small portion of this salmon today because this is a little bit much for all of us. But what we're gonna do is a really simple recipe. It's gonna cook in the oven pretty quickly. And just before it's done, we're gonna add a sort of honey mustard glaze to the top. It's gonna what be. What degree oven are you cooking it on? We have it at 375. If you have a convection oven, you can turn it on a little below that. And we'll save the rest for dinner and lunch tomorrow and meals after that too. So we'll check on that in about five minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna make our glaze. All right, so what we have here is about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little more than two tablespoons of ground mustard. And there's two tablespoons of brown sugar. And That's light brown sugar. You can use light brown sugar, dark brown, you can use maple syrup or honey, just anything to make it a little bit sweet. Okay, I believe this is ready. We're just going to brush it on top and pop it back in the oven so it gets nice and sweet, a little bit cooked, maybe a little bit browned. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're checking on the salmon, we're looking for color and we're looking for flakiness. And you can see this is nowhere near ready, so we're going to put this back in for another five minutes. Sounds good because I love the smell of this uh, mustard that you got in here. Mm -hmm. mm, that smells good. <laughs> I did go to Alaska, and my husband was still living at that time. We both went together. You know what I remember most about that trip? What? <laughs> we first, we rode uh, on a ship. We got off the ship and got on a train. We went to this park. When we got there on the bus, we got off the train, got on the bus, got there. And uh, there was a big sign that invited us to the park. And there was people out there having their picture made in a nude. And I... <laughs> Everybody on the bus. <laughs> so, Mama, when you were in Alaska, did you ever see any live wild salmon? I did. I Tell saw me a about it. Salmon. And uh, they uh, they had hatcheries, and they release them at certain times of the year. All right, so our color is getting a little better, and it's starting to flake a little. You can see there's still raw flesh in there. So we're gonna wait a couple more minutes, and then we'll put the glaze on. Mama, tell me about panning for gold in Alaska. That sounds like we, an adventure. We went out on the creek just like you see in the movies, and we panned for gold, and we saw some little specks that might have looked like gold, but you know, they, they don't have gold there anymore. You didn't get rich. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Rich in memories. Rich in memories, that's right. I remember it was Alaska, I believe, where they had so much daylight. You didn't have any darkness on it at all when we were there. And it was hard to go to sleep. <laughs> I remember when I was in Alaska, it was in the summer, and the sun only got as far as sunset. So we'd have like a two or three hour sunset. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was sunrise again and it was daytime. It was hard to sleep. I know. I went through that too. <laughs> so the salmon isn't quite cooked yet. It still lacks a couple of minutes. And when it's at this stage, we're gonna brush on our mustard soy glaze. And this is just gonna become yeah. so sweet and delicious. And we'll pop it back in for another two or three minutes. It doesn't lack much. You know, when I grew up as a child, we didn't have access to seafood. We had local lakes and we had fish like catfish and brim and bright crappie and bass, but nothing, shrimp and salmon and all that. We never had access. We did have salmon in a can and mackerel in a can. But that's about all. We didn't, we didn't have fish like this. And I have never learned to cook it. But I'm so glad that Caroline has learned to cook it and she can teach me now. Now, a lot of people overcook salmon and overcook fish in general. So we're gonna take it out. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is so perfect. It's a little undercooked because it's gonna keep cooking once you take it out of the oven. There's still a lot of heat in there. So we'll let that sit for one or two minutes and then we'll 
Okay. Dive in. So, Momo, tell us about this cedar plank and where you learned this technique. I went to a cooking class at the Viking Cooking School down in Mississippi, and we made the, uh, salmon. We didn't make it exactly like this. This is really Caroline's recipe, but we did cook it on a cedar plank like this, and we soaked this overnight. And see how easily that peels away? No mm -hmm. problem. You want to take the first bite? I do. I want to taste it. <laughs> That's good. You like it? I do. All right, I'll it's give really it a good. taste too. I like that recipe. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's really good. That is good. <laughs> okay, we finished it. Caroline's recipe for salmon. I really like this. <laughs> and uh, also this sauce that she's got left over, it's really good to spread on it. I think that's great. I hope you try this salmon sometime. I hope you like it as much as my family does, and I hope you watch another family video. And we're so proud to have Caroline here. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your show, Mama. I'm a huge fan, so to be able to come here and cook with you is not only a treat as your granddaughter, but as your fan. Oh, so, I always enjoyed cooking <laughs> with you. <laughs> I hope that your viewers like this salmon as much as we do. And I hope that they also check out the poke salad recipe, which we have still been nibbling on while we're making this salmon. <laughs> yeah, it turned out real good, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and next time you come to California, we can have it fresh off the boat. Oh, great, great. <laughs>